guess I was quite driven. You know, I was never the biggest or the best at, at any sport. When I turned to cycling, I just loved it, you know? It's like the freedom. Did it my own way a bit. Maybe that's a bit stubborn or, or whatever. But I think uh, that's what you kind of have to have to, to make it in this sport. Serious hate too about my wheat mix and cottage cheese addiction. I love wheat mix. Used to hate them as kids, didn't you? Now it's. It's been an absolute blast to be honest. I mean, at the end of the day, I still, you know, borrowed money off my parents to come over to, to Europe and, and chase the dream, I suppose. And you know, it's one thing to, to turn professional, but then to, you know, make a, a career out of it for the 13 years it's been, man, it's been a pretty, pretty incredible journey. You know, I sort of grew up around the, the swimming pool. Um, you know, as a family, we, we did a lot of swimming and, um, you know, training. And, and then I kind of moved on to, to triathlon and you know, I had a nine to five job before, before I uh, became, you know, a, a cyclist. And I did three years as an, as an amateur in Italy. So that's kind of why I turned professional quite late. I mean, I think nowadays you probably wouldn't turn professional at 24 years old. You want help, Daddy? Help with this one, though, can't you? You want to pop that in? You want to take this one? Do you want to put it on the bike? <laughs> Good girl. Do you want to put this one on, too? Oh. Met him in 2011, um, and yeah, we've always got on. I think British, Aussie, the humour just kind of matches quite well. You know, I met my wife in, in Team Sky back in the day, and you know, she's she uprooted her her life too to move from Manchester to, to, to Monaco. A huge part is the support at home. You know, um, obviously you marry your wife because you love them, but just the mother that I've seen Gemma turn into is just absolutely unbelievable. You know, there's, it's just never nothing's ever a big deal. She's very very relaxed, and I think that's just made it so much easier to, to keep the motivation up. Right to, you know what it's like. I know that. When they go on the balcony, it's all the best. There's anybody in the professional cycling peloton that's had a, an easy run at it. Like, you know, everybody has their stories. It's such a hard mental game. For me, it was it was such a, a scary thing to pick between, you know, crashing into a wall at 70 k's an hour or trying to scrub speed off it, you know. And then, then when they did get to me, you know, I had a, a paramedic who put himself in harm's way to stabilise my neck. And then the paramedics and, and doctors asking, can you, can you feel your feet? Now they have kids, I can only think of my parents watching that back, back in Tassie. Um, that, was, that was the pits, to be honest, and it was pretty hard to come back from. I mean, I, I don't think I ever got over that. Um, you know, it's like, I guess it's part of the sport, isn't it? It's a, it's a dangerous sport, but that one really, uh, really messed me up. Being in sight, well, I'm going to go next week. Oh, yeah, seven wins for like that. What about this? And then Rose, Hospital, out of Hospital. It's sort of a creature of, of, of habit. And the loop we did today, funnily enough, looks like Australia. It's also beautiful, you know, and, and especially the company. I had my mate Cam Worth come up from Andorra for it. It was, you know, pretty cool. 
from where I grew up in, in Tassie to here it's chalk and cheese. Like, I mean, we were laughing about, you know, getting in an elevator to go training. I, I never would have imagined that in my life, but um, Monaco is, is, is Monaco. It's been a great place to live. To roll out the door and then you've got the Col de la Madone or Col de Braus, Col de Trini, some of the most famous climbs on your doorstep. Um, and for me, it was the, the best place to, to have lived the last 13 years. You know, some of the, the trophies you look at and you think back to some of the most brilliant teammates that you've, you've had, you know, back in the Team Sky days where, you know, we were, we were winning the, the tour with, with Brad Wiggins or Chris Froome, who's, who's a good mate, things like that. Winning Paris Nice with, you know, Nico Portal, who was just such a big part of my career, and Tim Kerrison, you know, behind me doing the time trial at Cold Airs in my adopted, you know, basically my adopted hometown. I think it's just something very special to, to be a part of a, a team like that. Um, I think you know, for me personally, um, you know, obviously finally getting a podium in the tour was, was pretty awesome. My son will be five next year, so time to, to start school. And that was really the, the, the biggest thing. I wouldn't say I've lost the hunger to win a bike race, but something definitely has changed in me. And maybe that is just having a family. It's so fickle in sport. It's so easy to forget half of it. Like, you, like I don't think he'll realise for quite a long time like how impressive his Palmares is. Like, it's so easy to listen to the trolls and, like I say, forget the things that have happened before. But it's a bloody impressive Palmares, so just all of it, really. He's a bloody good bike rider. It will be nice just to, to go, you know, go back to Australia and, you know, just for a year, just, just chill, you know, just enjoy life, you know take the kids to, to school and, and do normal things. Even, you know, it sounds weird, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to getting a dog, you know, and just having a, a backyard and, and just, just enjoy it, you know. I think there's definitely going to be things that I'm going to miss, but um, you know, there's a lot to, to look forward to.